Okay, so this video is probably once again going to be 20 minutes long. And I do apologize for that. Hopefully, I can get it under 15 minutes. I know people like their material like quick, fast, in a hurry. They want you to talk, get it over with, and be gone so they can go to the next video. But I'm not that kind of vlogger. I'm just not. I like to talk. chat for a minute or two and I put the top I put the time of when the um, topic starts here I do apologize that you guys I go a week here and there without posting but I'm always on social media whether I post or whether you just message me I talk back and forth to you guys in messenger every single day so even when I don't post I try to post regularly but even when I don't post you can always hit me up in Messenger. So you guys, I wanted to pop in and update y'all on my weight loss and what's going on with me and all of that great stuff. I've been getting so many questions about my journey and what I got going on. So I wanted to update you guys on that before we move on. I have an interview set up tonight with one of you guys. Um, so hopefully that goes through. If not, we might have to reschedule if it gets too late. I know we're in a different time zone, so I'm just waiting to hear back her response. So in the next week or two, I should have my first interview up for you guys. So I am really, really, really excited about that. And I have about anywhere between 10 or 15 people that's interested in doing interviews with me. So I, I got my first set of questions ready. I'm going to mix the questions up and all of that throughout the different interviews so y'all can get different pers uh, perspectives on different questions and things like that. So I'm really, really excited about doing the interviews and I think that they will be so, so good to help out on so many different journeys. So don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Subscribe now if you haven't. Don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be alerted. And don't forget to check the description box for my social medias so you can always hit me up there and we can chit chat there. And of course, like I said, I do post on social media. Um, also, I wanted to bring up before we dig deep, deep into this video, I purchased me a tripod for my phone. I, I want to do some YouTube lives. I want to do two different topics that I'm thinking about. And I'm also going to post this on, um, on Facebook and IG to see if you guys are interested. I have to have at least 20 plus people interested in the topics in order for me to do the videos. So I want to talk about my career, what I do, and all of that great stuff. I know several people have asked, but I don't really know if the interest is there. I would hate to do a live and it's like one person there when I could just chit chat with them, <laughs> you know, one on one. So I want to do that. And um, I want to do a video and I want to talk about some, um, some YouTubers. One of them is Amberlynn and one of them is... No, foodie, foodie, those two. I wanted to chit chat about them. I'm sure some of you guys have been to their channels before and I just want to chit chat and give my perspective. I might just turn that into a video, but I kind of wanted to do it live because I wanted to know what you guys thought about that. So on this weight loss journey of losing 300 pounds, you guys know I started at around 481 pounds. And my original goal was 181. I wanted to lose 300 pounds. And I've hit that goal. I've hit that goal. I've gained weight, you know, here and there, but I've hit that goal. Um, so the, 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 the smallest I've weighed in, it was around, I think like 176, 179, something like that. I didn't stay there very long. I hit that low because right, I think it was right after a three or five day water fast, something like that. I hit that. So I didn't stay there too long. So one of my last weigh-ins, I weighed 189. And I was still in Mobile at that time. And I was okay with that. I was okay with that because you guys know I never really wanted to be too small. 
So then I um, I continued to gain a little bit more weight. My last weigh-in when I was in Mobile was 192. That was the last weigh-in I remember doing. So I was okay with being where I was at that point. Um, a lot of my clothes fit so much better. Some of my clothes was too big for me, but I was still okay with being where I was at that time. So after I moved, that's when the weight gain started. Oh, so it's been about nine or 10 months um, since I've been out of Mobile. And in Mobile, I would say that my food intake was, I was always pretty much 98% of the time in a controlled environment. I was able to control my food. I was able to food prep. I was able to do all of that. And even when I was in college, you know, food prep, all of that, I, like I said, I've experienced times here and there where I had weight gains, where I was out of those controlled in, um, environments, but for the most part, my environment was pretty controlled when I was in Mobile. Well, when I moved to Nashville, it was it's it, it was very different. Now, I don't want to rehash everything that we've talked about in previous videos, but pretty much when I moved to Nashville, my job just calls for a lot of traveling. Um, you're either going to travel Monday through Thursday or Sunday through um, Friday or Sunday through Thursday um, for the most part. So with all of the traveling, it's like everything is free. And when I, I don't, I don't necessarily mean like people just giving you like, when I, when I say everything is free, I mean like when it comes down to food, like you have breakfast free. So I'm going to give you guys a perfect example of a bad day of food. Not necessarily me eating it, but when I say food was everywhere. Okay. So this happens probably about two to three days out of the week when i'm traveling again i travel monday through thursday so breakfast breakfast is like buffet style and then you can get omelets um made homemade um and i kind of like the the breakfast um i like okay i'll go back to that but anyway you have like this full buffet of all these different things you can make waffles you can make all these different things at this buffet so that's that's breakfast so when i get to work they have, they might have um, catered, um, is it Panera Bread? I think it's Panera Bread that they cater a lot. And they have all these different types of danishes. So they might have like 10 different danishes, five different kind of bagels, um, just all this different stuff. And then like a big bowl of fruit. <laughs> and then all of the food is laid out on this big table in like one of the kitchen areas. And it's like 100 to 150, di um, not different, but um, you know, danishes, donuts, and all of that just everywhere. And you know, you just eat, eat whatever you want, however much you want. So that's breakfast. And then lunch, it's according to um, if someone caters something. Um, again, two to three days out of the week, um, food might be catered for one reason or another. They do love Panera Bread and Jimmy John's for some unknown reason. Um, so yeah, you have like, a, like so for example, if they again catered Panera Bread for lunch, you have like all of these sandwiches and chips and you might have like a hundred sandwiches just laid out and you just, you know, get the sandwiches. Also downstairs, they have like a full kitchen where they have six different stations where you can purchase food um, at six different stations, right? So that's at work. And then once we leave work, um, we get to our hotel room. Normally, um, the hotels that we, we pick or the company picks for us because we get like a list. So a lot of them are Marriott's and Hilton's and things like that. And a lot of those, a lot of them do like manager receptions so um they have like i've shown you guys a picture of that on 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 the internet so you have like all of the foods the cheeses and all this different food wine unlimited wine unlimited beer just unlimited food you know what i mean and then of course we get so much money a day on top of all of that we get so much money a day to purchase food right so it's like 
Um, I'm just, I've always, since I've been here for like the last nine, 10 months, I've been in, I would say 85% of the time I've been in uncontrolled environments. And I really, and uh, sometimes, I won't say all the time because I, I haven't just thrown my journey away. Just did not, no, not at all. I still beat myself up when I make the wrong choices. I don't necessarily make the wrong choices all the time, but I do beat myself up when I do make the wrong choices. Um, my weight gain. My weight gain, for the most part, I would say was like 60% wine and 40% um, food, making wrong choices. I was drinking like a lot of wine like a half a bottle a day. I was just sipping, thinking I was fancy. Um, I was on my sushi. I was just like, I was just doing too much with the wine. And I just didn't realize, especially my tummy, the damage. Was, my tummy was so flat at one point. But anyway, um, I didn't even realize until I looked up one day and looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, my god so no more wine for me i'm off the wine i'm not saying i'll never drink again but um buying it no i will probably drink socially but just buying it just to sip on it like i was we're not doing that anymore and then the rest of it was like food just making the, no well you know what i'm not gonna say that i would say um 20 percent of it was food and then the other 20 percent of it was the fact that I wasn't able to um, poop. So it's just that simple. You guys know I go three, I was going three or four days without pooping. And because I wasn't pooping, I wasn't peeing right. It was really weird. So I was retaining water and all of that. So again, I'm not saying that I wasn't making some bad choices with food. Um, I absolutely was. Not all the time. Because so if I just really truly lost control, I could have gained way more weight if I just, you know, let myself just gorge in all of the food that was around me. Um, I did enough damage with those 50 pounds. So again, I started when I officially left Mobile, I was at 192. I gained 50 pounds altogether. I'm not, I've been rambling. I don't, I'm not even sure if I said that. I think I did say it, but I'm not sure. But altogether, when I officially weighed in, like when I was just like, oh my God, I'm just getting too big. I can feel it in my clothes. I gained 50 pounds. So I was up to 242, you guys. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. This little piece of hair right here is just doing the most. You know, it's crazy because I want to say a couple of months before I moved here, me and my mom was talking about gaining weight. And I was telling her, I was like, I never gained that weight back. And um, she was like, never say never because when you say never, um, you know, the, the... So I don't remember how she said it, but basically she was saying, you know, when you say something... Um, when you say you won't do something, you know, the, the world has a way of showing you that you will and you can and never say never. So <sighs> I'm just going to say that I hope that I never gain those 300 pounds back. And again, I never thought I would gain these 50 pounds that I gained. So I lost three pounds last week and I lost two pounds this week. So I've lost five pounds so far. So I've, I'm at 45 pounds that I gained. So... Um, I'm not sure, and oh, I am taking, and I showed you guys the Ultra Flora and the Prolisec, and my tummy feels so much better. My tummy feels so much better, you guys. I've been pooping every single day. I've been taking my water. I've been taking my um, apple cider vinegar. I've been taking my cayenne. I have been doing so, so, so much better. The only thing that I have not gotten you know right you know back on right how I should be is my exercise it's like I start and then I stop and then I start then I stop I just you know yeah I know exercising has always been a struggle for me I, it's something that I don't necessarily be like yay let's go exercise it's not something that I just you know want to do but it's not something that I necessarily hate either so there's that but when it comes down to exercise and i really don't have any excuse for it like i have no um excuse not to do it because i have every hotel that well for the most part i would say most of the hotels that i go to have gyms and when i'm at home i have a gym membership so i have no reason 
Okay, so my goal, you guys, um, being that I am 237 now, my goal is only to get down to like 215. Now, I, I know that that is more than uh, my original goal of 181, but looking back at my videos, looking at my videos a year ago, um, two years ago, and looking at my videos now, um, I think that my face is much fuller. I think it's a little too full for me now, um, but but before I moved to Nashville, looking at me then and now, my, my, my face was too small. Um, my wrinkles, like, my face looked droopy. My wrinkles was just, like, really popping out, you know. And it's because, I, and I'm assuming that's because, you know, my face expanded just like any other part of your body, you know, it shrinks in. And, you know, I'm sure that's why I have, like, you know, the forehead wrinkles. And when, when I was at my smallest, you really could see, you know, that this right here, those fine lines. And my face was just really droopy. And I feel like when I get in the hundreds, I look older. Um, that's just how I feel. So I think that um, being around 210, 215, and focusing on, you know, having a couple of surgeries i did change my mind on everything that i wanted i want to do some fat transfer and i think that that will be better than just a whole body lift which will cost way more i'm not sure i guess we'll talk about that in another video but of course i'm still saving i still have that savings account so something will happen <sighs> okay so this video is probably once again going to be 20 minutes long and I do apologize for that. Hopefully, I can get it under 15 minutes. I know people like their material like quick, fast, in a hurry. They want you to talk, get it over with, and be gone so they can go to the next video. But I'm not that kind of vlogger. I'm just not. I like to talk. But what I do need to do is start getting in front of this camera more. You guys, I'll be trying. I do. But I do so that these videos aren't, aren't that long. So that's what I need to do. Okay, you guys. So I'm just going to wrap this video up into a beautiful bow and deliver it to you guys. I have really been focusing on my food. As you guys know, that was the key to my weight loss at the beginning of my journey. And it's going to be the key to my weight loss um, from now on. This is a journey, you guys. And it's funny and when I think about it, because it's like, it, it truly is a journey because, I, you know, I'm 35 now. And my maybe by the time I turn 40, I might gain 50 pounds again. Like, this 55 I'm going to lose. And I might be stable for like five years. And then I might, something might happen and I might gain 50 pounds again. And, you know, I was thinking about that the other day. And I'm just like... A lot of people, a good majority of people that have struggled with losing weight, this is truly a journey. You go up and down, up and down, up and down. And it just so happened because I vlogged my journey, you guys are watching the up and down. You know, I could have stop vlogging when I hit my 300 pound goal, you know, and you guys would have never knew I would have been gone all my life and doing something else. And you guys would have just remembered that I lost 300 pounds and I did it. And, you know, but you guys are seeing that the struggle continues and this struggle will probably continue for the rest of my life. Of course, the rest of my life will not be on YouTube, you know, so I might have, you know, this struggle again, where something happens where I gain weight and here we go again. I have to go full force into my journey you know again and you know be stricter on myself instead of just maintaining so you know I think that I think that all that I'm going through all that I'm showing you guys including all the videos and all of this I think it, it'll be so 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 helpful and I'm gonna stop rambling now and keep in mind everything I said in, at the beginning of the video you guys I love you guys and I will see y'all soon